He don't like me. Oh my God. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me. Um, there's a new creep on TikTok and I have to show you. So I was going down one of my classic rabbit holes that I go down on the internet when I was shown this viral TikTok that just left me with no words. I'm sure you might have seen it too, but let's watch it. He's my man in every way. All oh yeah, this is the fucking, the nut monster, dude. Nutmeg. Love her. Big fan of everything that she represents. I mean, she's like... I'm I'm sucking nuts through a goddamn straw, okay? She's like, please, I want my yeah, the nut goblin, uh, the fake podcaster. My favorite. All the ways wake him up. He gets to nut before he leaves out the door. He's leaving empty nuts <laughs> at work. I am calling him like, come on. I love the music. I like I love the music that because no, this is this is fake, right? Like, it's not a real... What is this? The rise of de-influencing. Is TikTok's new de-influencing trend genuinely an antidote to our culture of overconsumption, or is it just a symptom of our economically turbulent times? Do not get the Colleen Hoover's books? Do not get the AirPods Pro Max? Okay, we'll do this in a little bit. Let's Outside, it's your lunch break. If I was getting called at work after a morning nut and a before pre-work nut i'd be hiding in the closet at work if she shows up if she shows up at my work on the lunch break i'm hiding underneath the desk nobody needs that especially a grown man this isn't a 13 year old boy he's not horny all the time he's got to go work break it's time for you to get your nut off when he gets home oh, he's getting no. fed. it's just like this is literally the age of, like if she's doing this on her own good good for her but like it's hard for me not to make jokes about this because you know, it's the typical like, oh, I'm I'm one of the boys type girls uh, when she's talking about it. Even the fact that she keeps saying getting another nut, like that's dude combos, okay? You're using dude speak, milady. That's how we refer to it. I've literally never, I've never heard a lady say like, oh man, unless they're like memeing or posting, you know what I mean? I've never heard uh, uh, a lady out and about in the wild be like, damn, I'm trying to, I guess AAV technically, but it's like usually even uh, rap. Like it's just rarely ever do you see someone being like, I love, I love how much uh, you are nutting. Your nuts are important to me. It's a bit, bro, I had to install a prosthetic testicle to satisfy demand, bro. Cost me a lot. He is getting another nut. She's speaking and pick me for bed, sure. Two, a little bit. Lucky. That's it. But That's also more power to her for the record. Like I, I, I respect it. Uh, even if it is a grift, I respect it. Even if it's not a grift, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of women's rights, but also women's wrongs. So I just want everybody to understand, like, that's how big of an ally I am. You know, the one in the chat says she's a one person dick milking sweatshop. Yeah, no, China is trying to fucking trade her. For the dick milk factories that they currently have, which Jordan Peterson bravely, bravely showed the world, China is literally, Xi Jinping is trying to get a hold of this lady so hard. Like, where, where are the, where are the nuts, please? We wish we could use you. Ethan and the crew confirmed she has OnlyFans and she's promoting it and she's in, and it is indeed a confirmed a fake podcast, but honestly, you should get OnlyFans. There's good content over there. One before bed or two, if he's lucky. Where's this guy storing all of his cum? I make sure that my man nuts at least six or seven times a day. I don't know if I'm just like a broken boy, but th it, that that doesn't sound enticing. So very big red flags all around. I also just like to, to be able to do this for your partner, you need to not have a job. And so to be like, oh, you girls need to try harder. I make my man nuts. Bro, like at my peak of horniness when I was a teenager, when I was a young boy, Six or seven nuts in one day. First of all, you're firing blanks after five, I think. Okay? But, like, let's say you're firing blanks, but you're still going after it, right? You're still going after it. It goes from uh, viscosity and consistency down to, like, basically pre-cum at that point. Like, that is if you're lucky. There's no way. Like, six, you're just, you're, you're beating your meat. And by that, I mean not jerking off. But like literally beating it, like you're hurting yourself. Okay, I feel like you would chase, chave, yeah, jerk off nuts to BJ nuts are completely different too. 
If anything, jerk off nuts, I think, are uh, sometimes in and out fast there. You know what I mean? Depending on what kind of blowjob we're talking about, things can get a little sloppy down there. You know, you might want to you might want to whip it out at the sink and you're not going to be able to do that at your place of work. You know what I mean? Give it a quick shower, stripper style. What you guys? I mean, listen, sloppy toppy is sloppy for a reason. Anyway, have you washed your dick at the sink? Yes. But am I alone on this? What do you mean? Let's say, let's say there's a little bit of blood down there because like it's in the beginning of the period phase and you didn't know. What are you supposed to do? Not fucking wash it? Like what? I don't understand. What are you supposed to do? Like what, what do you? I don't get it. Not blood from a blowjob, you fucking weirdos. I said period. You know, it's like beginning. It's in the beginning phases and you activated it with your penis like it's a fucking... Like it's a button that you pushed, okay? But if you're also talking about like a blowjob, it could be a, a, you know, a real sloppy circumstance. You're at work. What are you supposed to do? It's not so much that you meet the metric of a shower, okay? What are you going to do? You got to do a little bit of cleanup down there. How are you going to do that? Six times a day, most people don't have time or interest in spending the whole day trying to nut or getting someone to nut. This woman would be in my nightmares. And of course, a lot of men agree I'd feel like an empty Capri Sun by the end of the day. And yeah, this is kind of the whole response that this video brought. A lot of surprise and uh, and disgust, I guess. Yeah, but that is not where the story ends. So I decided to go and check out her TikTok because I want to figure out what show she's on, where she's talking about all of this. Only people who haven't got laid are hawing right now. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, there is, again, I think like 40% of this community is a virgin. So like that does make sense. It's all good. Uh, 100% of the community's moms have been had fucked by me. So, you know, there is that, um, so stuff and I want to see more crazy stuff. And this is the first TikTok I saw. I strongly believe that every single man should get off every single day. Non-negotiable. How can you believe these things for, for men or for people who have a penis, penis havers? How are you going to tell us what we need to do? I have to nut every single day? What if I'm tired? What if I don't want that? Your ass as a man and you are not making him come every single day, then you are not a woman. Of course, all of this is like rage bait for people to- Not even rage bait, this is like, please, please pick me type shit. Uh, a lot of people got mad at her for this. Like, I wasn't one of those people. I just like kind of made fun of it a little bit. Like, if she was legitimately doing it, good for her. Um, sorry, I got to check in on uh, someone real quick. Guys, today is an important day to check in on your loved ones. I just realized something. Um, hold on. Let's see. Hello. Hello, I'm live streaming and you're live. Um, I just wanted to make uh -huh. sure that you are. Are you all right? I'm at Disneyland. I rushed to Disneyland. I'm here. You can hear the children. They're yelling. Okay. I'm, are I'm you, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you fine? Yes. I just, potentially, potentially, it's just rumors. Um, because she's supposed to be spending Easter with Joe in London, so like it could just be rumors. I don't know, but we don't need to talk about it. You know? Oh, thank God. Okay, well, you know, no, I'll see. Sure. I'll see you on the podcast. Uh, okay. But I uh, just wanted to make sure. You know, I'm telling everybody to to check in on their loved ones today. This is a big day. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope Disneyland can you know make you uh, feel better about even the the potential speculation of such a damaging thing. Yeah, I'm about to go on Goofy Sky Coaster. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, thank God. Guys, you're supposed to. She already knows. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean she already knows? Of course she already knows. Don't you know that everyone who's in the Taylor, everyone who's a Swifty, everyone who's a Swifty has a beacon. God, she's so strong. I... I admire Cutie Cinderella's courage. She demonstrated that today, okay? She demonstrated that. Yeah, sure, a lot of you are pointing to the fact that she's already duking it out with people on the timeline for no reason. Her 20th boyfriend, I have run out of fingers and toes to count. My guy can't count to 12. Yeah, sure, this doesn't actually look like a good defense for Taylor Swift. Like, you're like, actually, it's only 12. Like, okay. Like, I don't know. I don't know what, like, the appropriate number of having... Uh, boyfriends or girlfriends is but like still <laughs> like he was off by eight you know what i mean it's not like <laughs> <laughs> like oh it's 
Sir, a 12th boyfriend has hit Swift's heart. Bro's going to pull up tomorrow like this. As a former female fumbler, I know what this stance means. Yeah, a man begging for forgiveness inside of a Chicago divorce court. We know a banger single. We know a banger single's about the drop. I, I agree. I hate this, but what I hate most is that I found out here. Wait, what? You find out about, like, Russia invading Ukraine on here. I feel like that's pretty normal for you to find out news on here, especially about, like, Taylor Swift invading the hearts and minds of American women by possibly being on the verge of yet another breakup. She's at, she's at Disney responding on Twitter. You and Cutie are the same type of brain broken. I agree. Come in the comments and get mad at her. Like, I'm, I'm sure most of this is just her trying to get engagement by like talking shit about like other women and saying that like men should do this very specific thing how would you feel if your man didn't please you every single day you'd be pissed who's pissed who's pissed does anyone know so things were getting interesting i wanted to see more she i wanted to hear more about this wise vicky you know i want i want to know from vicky like what she has to say what she could teach me maybe about my life Cat. but before i kept going i had to check out the link in her bio to learn more about her so of course i click and go to a uh, wikipedia.me it's like a whole whole wiki uh, about vicky but yeah it seems like she makes adult content for people um overall influencer she's influencing us and it's great because the the photo the main photo to like show her off on desktop on wikipedia.com has her full head cut off there's there's no way i can oh 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 you scroll down and then there's this insane photo of her like bent over on this chair another photo which has a bunch of stuff cropped out but i'm sure <laughs> And then we have a fun little about section so we can kind of see what, you know, what, what Vicky likes to do. Of course, her favorite music is, um, anything good, LOL. And then her upcoming project is Vicky. Oh no. Reports are saying Taylor Swift dumped her man because he wasn't nutting every day. No, he was not able to keep up with the seven nut schedule. Okay. The seven nut, the seven nut schedule is unfortunately too tasking for the boyfriend. E bikes review podcast. So I don't know if she reviews bikes. I say I'm bored. So I'm going back to TikTok. I need I need to see what all the fuss is about. So this is the first video I see. It is uh Vicky um as a I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but I don't think that she's actually naked. Yeah, I, I'm I'm certain that, that like there's like there could be children on that train, you know what I mean? That's like kind of how uh public indecency works, you know what I mean? But I suspect she's not actually naked under that because if she was, then it would be illegal. She would be a sex offender literally doing a sex offense on TikTok. But of course, TikTok, so it's fake. Everything on TikTok is fake. Train goes by flashing it like a like a creepy man in a trench coat at a park, which I know most of us watching, our first thought is, wow, okay, so she just sexually harassed everyone who was looking out the window on that plane um but in my head i'm like maybe no not east palestine ohio oh no now we know why the train derailed dude what the fuck yo someone informed the norfolk southern ceo it's not his fault dude what the fuck Maybe it's just probably for the camera. Like, we can't see the reactions of the train people, so she probably has clothes on underneath. It's just a joke. But like, one in bad taste, but okay, let's let's carry on. So I click on another one, and then this is what I see. So, this time, th things are a little bit different. We, we see people and their reaction to what's going on we we hear the the truck behind her honking at her we technically do not know still if, if it is real because obviously she's not going to turn around for the camera that's kind of okay. the whole point but knowing that she makes adult content it wouldn't be crazy to draw the conclusion that this is that this is you just trying to make sure every man in this town nuts seven times a day god bless her and god bless america yeah i don't I don't, I don't really understand what's going on here. You know what I mean? It's real that this is content for her followers. And even if it's not, isn't it a little weird to be like 
role playing as as a pervert. I don't want this to sound like I'm like one of those guys, but as we watch the rest of the videos today, think about what would happen if instead of Vicky there, um, it, there was a old like man. Put an old man in Vicky's position, and guess what? It doesn't really look that cool anymore. It looks like a couple people who didn't ask for it are are now being sexually harassed by this woman and she doesn't know whether or not they are going to like it, whether or not they're okay with it, you know? But again, it's TikTok, you know? Still could be fake. It's weird to promote it, but you know, people are weird. Is this the same uh, towing guy? Wait, this says Westway Towing. <laughs> Oh my god, look, that's him. That's the Westway uh, towing guy. So I'm guessing she was like, hey, can I make another TikTok? If you don't mind me, you know, showing you uh, my naked body. So go pull off to the road on the side and we can do another one, I guess. Let me tell you what I think about this. I think she's a freak, okay? I think if someone did that to me, I would legitimately call the police. This is well known. I don't even need to like tell people this. Most people watching this already know, but just because this is someone posed as like, oh, I'm a, I'm a hot chick and I'm going to seduce this guy. It doesn't make it less creepy and weird. Most people, most real people like don't fuck with that stuff because it's insane for you as a person to think that any random stranger he wants to see and would consent to see in your naked body. It doesn't matter what they look like. If someone comes up to me in a trench coat and flashes me, I'm afraid. I don't like that. And even saying that brings on the mass of people who are like, yeah, you know, if I was a student and my like hot female teacher seduced me, yeah, I would hook up with her, not realizing that they're being groomed. But this is something that we should keep talking about because whether or not it is a man. No straight dude who called the cause of a hot girl showed her vag to them randomly. I mean, uh, I don't think you could say that. I don't know, sweaty. Like, it, it's still fucking weird. Also, you don't know if they're straight. Also, you don't know if they would respond positively. You know what I mean? I was just thinking about it from my own perspective. This is why the government should have never defunded the mill funder. Thanks, Obama. These women used to be taken care of. <laughs> Chad is bullying X into having better responses to PC takes. Dude. Just go over there and bully him further than if that's what you want to do. Stop coming in here and fucking updating me. I don't give a shit. XQC it, it, it could be giving any fucking answers that they're he's giving to the political compass test. I don't know why you think I am supposed to do anything about it. I just don't get it. I don't know why, like, you're coming back in here. You're like, oh, man, it's content, but, like, not good enough content. Like, it could be better content if you were involved. Like, what's happening? You know, we're, we're talking about flashers right now. Please, my juicer. Or a woman or anyone else, we need to treat people like this the same way we treat all of them. If a homeless dude is going to flash me on the side of the street, he should go to jail. If she does it, she, I guess she walks free and she gets to, like, monetize it. Yeah, like, cool. Uh, all of these cars saw you, too. And I'm sure that all of them didn't have the same reaction. But of course yeah, I think the, a good rule of thumb is like, no, just don't do that because you don't know how well it will be received. You know what I mean? Like, like that's that's certainly the right thing to do because the right thing to do in this circumstance is to not flash random strangers in public. Like, doesn't matter how nice your pussy looks in general doesn't matter how doesn't matter how 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 many nuts you've made your man fire off on a day you're so brave for this thank you i say the things that people are too afraid to say yeah that is good and important and you should get it before showing your private parts to people you know what i mean like as far as titties goes like that's a little bit different, I think. Is like you kind of get to you kind of get to showcase the bazongas as a man. Uh, you can't really do that as a woman, so I I don't I don't feel the same way about the the yiddies, You know what I mean? But like when you when you're showcasing, uh, you know, when you're showing off uh, the the uh, lady parts down there. I mean, I'm I'm always happy because it, when there is like actual consent in a circumstance, that someone's like here. Uh, I know you wanted to see this, like, here, this is my pussy. I'm like, thank you. This is wonderful, right? But again, that's like, 
you're, you know, that's, we, we discussed it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a, that's cool. I, I, I like to see this. I would like to see your pussy, please, is what I say. And then they show me, uh, you know, they show me their pussy. And that's, that's a wonderful gift, okay? But again, consent is what's important in that circumstance. And I think that we should remember that. Okay, that's my, that is my take on the matter. According to a lot of people, especially on TikTok, who are just like freaks in the real world and who are looking at Vicky's TikToks are going to comment stuff like, the cameraman's in the wrong spot. We need so much more of this in the world. Just turned 64. Cool, man. That's awesome. So, of course, big red flag. Uh, she sucks. But let's see what other kind of content she makes. Maybe it's not as horrible. If I had a guy named Lewis, I would be so good to him. Hmm. I so you can already see what the bit is here. The employee working next to her obviously has his, his name tag on. And so she's like playing a little prank where she's like, oh, if I had a guy with this name. Okay, we all know the bit. Again, this is creepy. I'm going to play out this video. But if this happened to me, I would legitimately be freaked out. If I was working at my job and someone was just just watch this. I would be the best girl to a Lewis. If only I could find one. But I don't know. I don't see one anywhere. If I was at work and a woman was walking around me pretending to talk on the phone and obviously being like, oh, I wish I could, you know, have a guy named Nick. I wish I could just take him home. I would think that I was going to get kidnapped. I would think I'm getting set up so I could get kidnapped. I had to take a picture with you. Mm -hmm. Me? What? Yeah, I have to show my man who I'm about to play him with. No, 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 don't do that. Why? Uh, <laughs> no, you don't want to claim me. No, no, no. No. Okay. Bye. No one wants to claim you. You look greasy. You look gross. No one wants to claim anyone who goes to Home Depot and shoves a phone in their face and is like, hey, uh, can I take a picture with you um, so I can show my man that I'm going to like fuck you later? That's not, it's not even a good bit. It's not funny. She's just a bad content creator. And there are all these videos of her just going up to guys and being like, I want to show my man who I'm about to cheat on him with. <laughs> I'm funny, right? Funny. Why you gotta run away from me, though? No, no, you're good. Like, bro, I can't believe I'm saying this. This isn't like a, like, I, you know, I, I can't believe what this is. Role reversal, this is like so incredibly illegal. I know that, like, obviously in a patriarchal society, it's a little bit different. Like, obviously, the element of danger and, and, and the genuine threat that it constitutes when a guy does it is a little bit different. But, like, you are quite literally scaring the hoes, okay? No, this is weird as fuck. Like, it's literally just, like, someone kind of actively getting away with, like, doing sexual harassment as a woman. It's weird, man. It's fucking weird. It's so weird. And then, of course, incels probably look at this and go like, no, I would definitely want this. What do you mean? Shut the fuck up. You know? But, like, no, you can't. Like, Matt Taibbi's Twitter files tweets haven't been deleted, but it appears Twitter is blocking users from searching for any and all of his posts, including his Twitter files tweet. That's awesome. How has she not been in a dangerous situation? My brother, she is the dangerous situation. Okay? I don't think you understand. You're still operating on the... The, the perspective that, like, you know, somehow she's in danger in that circumstance, you know? <laughs> she is the danger. This is how we get neat jobs, Home Depot job applications just exploded with weirdo insults. No, they're not fucking going to work. You are being the weird person at the store who everyone avoids. That's you. You're, you're the one no one wants to be around. Good 12-year-old tweet. Bro, this says, M. Hud, you're such a freak sometimes. This has no fucking likes. Like, this is from 2011. God, you are a force to be reckoned with, dude. You're terrifying sometimes. Straight up CIA, dude. I'm going to retweet it. Wait, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done it. No, no. I fucking ruined it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I unretweeted it. Fuck. But you did send it here. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, then I, it's all right. All right, then I'll retweet it. I violated the, the M HUD code, which is like, don't tap the fucking glass. But then, but then I realized like you kind of showed it in front of this massive audience. So like people definitely, you know, you didn't mind it being out there. I almost had a nerdgasm M HUD code. No, it is. You're not supposed to because, well, 
He deleted it already? Wait, no way. He did not delete it already. No, he did not delete it. People just lie in chat for no reason. No, it just shows as deleted because you deleted your RT first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nah, it's like 4 a.m. in Malaysia. Yo, true. Does Ian Miles Wrong actually operate on Malaysia time or operate on uh, Eastern? Because, like, he said it before. Look how cool. Wait, wasn't he a liberal back then? Hmm. The Elder Scrolls anthology looks so sexy. Nerdgasm. <laughs> Holy fuck, Lois. I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm nerdgasming. No, I'm not going to retweet this one. One is enough. Mm, is crazy. Yeah, I mean, I guess he did literally come. You know, you don't write that unless you, like, actually had a nerdgasm. So, it seems like he did. All right, let's finish this sexual harassment lady. Because you're walking around with a camera talking to yourself, and you're trying to, like, do jokes and bits that, like, aren't funny. They just come off as creepy and weird. Oh, look, here's another one of a random guy walking by, an Amazon worker. Oh, there's my entire body. Let me follow you. Let me follow you into your truck. Oh, I'm gonna keep showing you my body. That's funny. Haha. -ha. And to be fair, most likely this is fake. Everyone's always like, oh, we can see your shirt under the jacket, this and that. She probably set all this shit up. Why would you want to make people think that you are doing that? If my TikTok account just became me going up to people and pretending that I'm like showing them my full frontal nudity, I would be in jail. I would go to jail. Can I take a picture with you guys? I want to show Santa what I want for Christmas. <laughs> this is weird. This sucks. She's she's a creep, like an actual creep. People on TikTok tend to forget that people in the real world like have other things to do besides like try to pick up random women who come in Home Depot and make videos of them being like, hey, you want to me, right? Hey, you want to me? You want to do it yet? You want to me? If I saw a guy in a striped shirt, he would be mine. Striped shirt and blue pants. It's my favorite. My favorite kind of guy. And blue shoes? This is insane. Why is it always black man? You noticed that? Yeah, I already clocked it immediately. No, she's um she probably has a uh the the tattoo and everything. No, it, it literally is. This is like a very specific type of uh what's it called? What is it? Some white ladies uh, the Queen of Spades. Yeah. Some white ladies have a uh a race fetish where they uh, specifically go after black men. And they will even get tatted up. No bunny is what people are saying. But yeah, the like M HUD probably has an entire fucking library dedicated to this. It's like always like Midwestern mine, uh, wine moms. You know what I mean? Like um, straight up. It's like very, it's like kink shit. I'm 100% certain it was a 4chan psyop. What? No, no, <laughs> no. I don't, I don't think that's a... F no, I don't think that's a 4chan psyop, my friend. It's too unhinged. No, no. I think a lot of people forget that, like, um, I think a lot of people forget how black, how much fetishization occurs towards black men in a white supremacist society. It's like a different part of the same racism coin in some respects. You know what I mean? They think, like, these exotic, powerful, aggressive men that are primal are going to come and, you know, destroy them type shit. And uh, that can only exist in a world, in a universe where, where, you know, white supremacy has uh, thrived. The bark, the buck archetype. Yes. Black men in America are hyper masculinized and hyper sexualized. Yeah. But I think the reason why she's doing it is mostly to just, uh, you know, drive traffic to her only fans and a lot of incels also love that shit. Like, the racial component is... Racial cucking is something that incels fucking absolutely love because they are both uh, cucked and also uh, white supremacists themselves. So that's probably what she's trying to do. And I think she also... I think she also is just, like, into it, personally. Like, I think she probably does have that fetish herself, so it works well, you know what I mean? Ultimately, she's just trying to make her... She's just trying to get a nut. Same. Blue all day. This is like the worst. Wow, this person is horrible. <laughs> How long are people going to let her get away with this? I do think this one's great. Excuse me, do you remember me? 
insane thing to do first off like off the bat recording yourself and just walking up to someone and like with the sternness she I gotta said be, I'll be like, back. do you remember me do you you don't oh, so we've only met in my dreams they turned me down i just got turned down he don't like me oh my god <laughs> Oh, you guys are going to love this one. So she offers to pay for her Thanksgiving groceries. Great. I don't know why you're doing it in this weird, like, you've got a mic pack on you and you obviously have a microphone in the collar of your shirt, but sure, go for it. But then as she's like putting the items on the conveyor belt, she just starts like talking to the lady in AAVE because she's black. Like, that's like, it's just insane. I bet you making some good food. Look at you. You're not playing. <laughs> this is the regular, right? <laughs> Damn. She be throwing down in the kitchen. Damn. Sheesh. Dude, I... I <laughs> I, I just don't know. I don't know where you find people like this. Like, how, how do you breed? Is this what, like, TikTok breeds as people who have the confidence to go out in public and do this? The whole time she's standing there talking to her with this big-ass microphone. Most active reaction streamer. Bro, this guy literally sat in chat. I wonder when they were active. Oh, he said, I'm the one who knocks. So at least, he was at least active since 4.53, okay? And he sat in here, waited for the one moment. This is the first time I've taken a piss. Maybe the second time I've taken a piss today. Waited. I was gone for approximately 32 seconds to like at least 72. 72 is like the longest piss I take. And he literally said, most, react, most active reaction streamer, like waited for it, dude. Bro, are you good? Are you good? It's ironic, bro. Calm, man. Chill out. Chill out, lad. Anyway, let's continue. He got me. You fucking got me, lad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mental. Like right up against her neck. So everything she's doing is being filmed. I don't know. I don't have any words. I'm out. I'm out of them. Just like this woman's husband is out of cum, I'm out of words. So I got for you guys. <laughs> uh, Vicky Banks, more like Icky Banks. And I think she should be like in jail leave people alone at their jobs uh don't sexually harass anybody and um you don't have to make your man come seven times a day that's what we learned today thank you for watching this video if you liked it that was great this was friend of the show uh green is not nick aka nick is not green good video